how do you feel about uh, Bill Belichick, Phil, not having a lot of options, not being brought in to many of these teams and not having teams move on from their coach just to have an opportunity to have Bill Belichick as their head coach? It's not stunning to me. And the reason why I say that is not just because of the 4-13 and record they had this past season and owners may be looking at that and saying, is that exactly what we want to bring to our city? It's more that finding a real match for Bill Belichick is complicated. You have to be willing potentially to overhaul your entire, your entire excuse me, Football operation, IT, nutrition, weight program, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And some of these things are things that have been in place in some of these cities for a long, long time. Ted, there are also teams that are looking at their operation and saying, we are modern. We are analytically driven. We have whole entire departments that are committed to making sure that we are on the cutting edge. And even though Bill Belichick has adapted over the course of his career, over 20 years, probably better than anyone. Right now, in terms of the modern game in 2024, he's admitted himself. He's not a big analytics guy. So a team like Philly opting to go with a younger guy and not the guy who has said in the past, I use analytics less than zero in my decision making, which is what Bill Belichick has said, that's not stunning to me. You know what? It's um, I'm not that surprised either, Trini, I, because and, I, and I've been saying this. It's, look, I just think if you just look at what's going on here the last four years, I think the age is is a is a strike against them. And then all the things that Phil just said. Bill's used to doing it his way. So if you have all this infrastructure in place like you have in Dallas and in Philly, are you willing to kind of just completely dissolve that and start over to accommodate someone who's at the later stages of their career? I'm not so sure. And so I'm, I wasn't that surprised. But I will say this. I did read uh, an article from Mar uh, Mike Florio earlier today, and he, he suggested that both the Cowboys and the Eagles – reached out to Belichick to gauge his interest, and that Bill basically said, no, I'm good. And so they decided mm. to keep the, their two uh, coaches, um, uh, Nick Sirianni and Mike McCarthy in Dallas. So that was what it was, uh, was said from Florio in, uh, in his article today. So it's not so much maybe that these guys look at him as a has-been, but, so, but more so that that's just not the kind of team. This is more in Bill Belichick's control than it is the team's control. That's part of the complicated nature of finding a real match for Bill Belichick too, right? You have to have a team that's ready to win right now. Because if this is going to be two or three years and a guy who wants to compete, contend even maybe for a championship and break Don Shula's record – it can't be Washington. It can't be Carolina. I don't care how many resources you throw at that thing. Those teams can't be in the mix. If he wants to be on this side of the country, maybe stay closer to family, be closer to Nantucket, Jupiter, Florida, whatever it is, maybe that eliminates the Chargers. So finding a match for both sides, to me, was always going to be dif difficult. Then, Ted, why Atlanta? I mean, I know, listen, they've, they've got a decent defense and they've got some weapons on offense, but they don't have a quarterback. So I, I guess not to you know, doubt Mike Florio's reporting, but if I'm Bill Belichick and I look at the rosters, why would you not want to go to Philadelphia or Dallas over Atlanta? You ready for this, Trudy? Because this was what was said in the article. Why Atlanta? And that's what I'm trying to figure out. It, what was suggested in that article is that people in, in league circles are hearing that Belichick didn't want to go to a big market team that he was over the big market team experience and that that was partly what motivated him to to really put all his eggs in one basket there in Atlanta. And so that was that was kind of shocking to me because you would think that, that's not like Bill, but that was what Mike Florio suggested in his article is that he didn't want to go to big market teams. Obviously, Dallas and Philly would fit that description. Like he doesn't want to deal with the scrutiny anymore? Less he attention, just, maybe? Less attention? I don't know. It would be... It would be Understandable, I guess, yeah. to some degree, for a guy that we know doesn't always love the, the press conference setting. Uh, but I also think it fulfills some of what he might be looking for when it comes to a roster that isn't bad. They need a quarterback. It's a big piece. And if they're able to find one, is a massive, massive if. But it was a top-10 defense this past year. The run game is ready to go. That's the kind of football Bill Belichick wants to play anyway, right? So if you can be in a bad division – Maybe find a quarterback, maybe huh. Kirk Cousins or another free agent, win a bunch of games down there in Atlanta, and you don't get as much scrutiny as you would somewhere else. That might be the recipe that you're looking for if you're building.